From Soldiers Radio and Television, this is the Army Today, a daily feature from around the globe. Almost every service member operating in Iraq felt the efforts of the men and women of Defense Logistics Agency Distribution Kuwait Southwest Asia site. After more than six years, the facility is closing down. I'm very proud that we have great synergy with the employees here in supporting the warfighter. And it's demonstrated every day when you go out on the floor and you see they're so proud to do the work that they do for our warfighters. Uh, you know, at one time our highlight here back around 2010, you know, 83,000 line items today, we're down to 17. I believe our contractors have the same sense of, of urgency, the same sense of pride. Great many of them are third country nationals and even walking on the floor with them, sometimes you hear, we do this for the warfighter, we do that. It's not just a paycheck, it, it's really something that they come to work every day and feel great pride in and they know they're helping at the end, the warfighter is the bottom line. When I took command and we transitioned over, these racks were completely full. These racks were at 90 percent. And there's been a Herculean effort not only to stand this facility up, stand the facility up, but you can also see that we are moving as quickly to deactivate. And the deactivation of this facility will save over $43 million. While we're gone, there should be a uh, should be no loss of service or even a change of service uh, experienced by the warfighter in Afghanistan. It, it's like the Colonel mentioned, it's great pride that we take to make sure that every day the bottom line, when we walk through that door, we know it's for that military personnel at the, bottom, at the end line. Uh, I, I think it was a, a great ride. That's the Army Today from Soldiers Radio and Television.